Conventional agriculture does not provide all the solutions. It may actually create some major problems. I think it is now widely recognized that uh, our food systems are not sustainable. If you talk to many farmers in Kenya, they will even tell you that fertilizers are actually poisoning their soils. After some time, they can't get as good yields as when they first began. They notice that their, their soils are getting drier. They notice that uh, they are using more pesticides for the same kind of um, effect. And uh, they, they, are, they are actually not happy. And there's some very strong economic and political interests to continue that model because there's a lot of money that's made, and so there's a lot of resistance to changing the system. Industrial agriculture has been focusing on producing more food at the expense of a diverse diet, and also only looking at productivity as the uh, main measure of success. So agroecology research, one of the fundamental differences is thinking about the system holistically, thinking about the insects and the water quality and the and the soil health. But another dimension which is important is thinking about the human rights. So we want to show uh, through this study that um, the vast majority of investment is in a model that is not sustainable. If we do understand how this money flows, how it's badly affecting the, the, our, our institution, then the advocacy can happen at the country level and also at the international level. Uh, getting money for research is not an easy thing, I know, but we shall try. If everybody comes on board, I think it will get much better results. It's not an easy task, but uh, uh, wherever there's a will, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs>